and then followed by uh, Raghavam's graphical method. See these two methods we are going to discuss. Now let me tell you this Kalman's graphical method is with me now. You can see here. So now you see this is a graphical method to be frank. So graphical method means uh, we need graph sheet actually. We need graph sheet. We have to plot everything on graph sheet. So but uh, many times uh, they will ask you the processor only. So we will discuss now uh, how to So now the thing is first we need to draw the wall with the scale So the scale means you see I am plotting this on graph sheet So now you know the height of the wall is 6 meter or 8 meter I cannot uh, draw 8 meter, so that's why I will select suitable scale. So here, this is the height of the wall. Now, let me tell you, this is retaining wall. So this is in 1866. This method is uh, given by Kalmans in 1866. Now, you see, this is the ground level uh, ground level means backfill surface I'm trying to show many times it makes an angle beta with horizontal so here you see uh, back of the wall makes an angle alpha with horizontal Later I will choose another color this is beta so now the thing is, uh, this is the retaining wall drawn to the scale now, drawn to the, so now this is the AB, AB is the back, back of the retaining wall. Now you can ask me now, so what we are going to do now, see, uh, now let AB is the back face of the retaining wall, AB is the back face of the retaining wall. So we are discussing graphical method, Kalman's graphical method. Okay, now, uh, AD represents the backfill surface. Now I will show you. This is AD. This is backfill surface. Ground surface. Uh, for your understanding, I am saying. Now, draw a line BD. So I, I think I am drawing that line now. Trial line BD. So now this angle is five. As our friend said, uh, we can use uh, Kalman's uh, Coulomb's theory. Actually, Coulomb's theory's graphical representation is Kalman's method. Kalman's method is obtained from Coulomb's theory only. For your kind information, Kalman's method is obtained from Coulomb's theory only. So now, if you implement Coulomb's theory in a graphical format, Kalman's comes in picture. Kalman's graphical method is originated from Coulomb's theory. Okay, now you see here phi. You know what is phi? Can anyone tell me what is phi? Angle of angle of internal friction. So this is phi line. Draw a line with, which makes uh, which makes uh, uh, what I say phi degrees phi degrees with horizontal. Draw a line which cuts the ground surface at D, which cuts the ground surface. Now let me write what is AD now. AD is now AD is backfill surface. Backfill surface. So you just listen carefully. I will send the material. Now draw a line. So now it is very important now. Draw a line. So draw a line which makes an angle. Uh, draw a line BK. So now which makes an angle, this is very important, which makes an angle, psi, psi means uh, here let me tell you alpha minus delta. So you can ask me sir, what is alpha? You see this is alpha. 
what is delta it's your time now anyone tell me now what is delta what is delta angle of angle of wall friction wall friction you are absolutely correct now this is many times we we used to call this phi line now this undoubtedly what is this line psi line now first initially draw the wall for the scale okay show the ground surface so but you may ask a one question sir up to what extent i have to draw in ila yandaki nandi ani adugutaru that i i would like to write tell you start uh, from b draw a line with an angle with phi it will cut at the backfill surface at d now you got how to locate point d now many times people asking what is bk sir bk 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 means uh, you draw one more line at the base of the wall with an angle psi psi means alpha minus delta psi means alpha minus delta here alpha means you know the angle made by the back back of the wall with horizontal delta wall friction so now this i have phi line i have psi line now let me tell you choose uh, now uh, choose an arbitrary failure plane uh, i can use different colors uh, choose an arbitrary failure plane see there are number of i can draw as many as failure planes failure plane somebody can ask me sir what do you mean by failure plane you see if i remove this wall this soil will slide down this is a sliding wedge this is a sliding wedge so this is now i am trying to assume one failure plane arbitrary failure plane so now uh, i am trying to assume one arbitrary failure plane bc1 so you can see this is bc1 so now this bc1 is the arbitrary failure plane now this you see a b c1 this is one sliding wedge okay now calculate the weight of this sliding wedge someone can ask me sir how to calculate weight can anyone tell me weight of sliding wedge or in a help just that i how to calculate weight of this sliding wedge uh, a b c1 can anyone tell me how to calculate weight weight raval and allow us to learn the e portion of the weight raval i would like to call w1 this trial wedge i have considered an arbitrary failure plane bc1 mere em worry avaddu next bc2 gestan next bc3 gestan next bc4 gestan i don't care i can choose as many as arbitrary failure planes which is into back of the wall so now my starting point you don't forget the end story is with this b okay now what i am asking how to calculate weight can anyone tell me what is weight weight is equal to gamma into area into vakati sir end sir ante idu nen 2d gestna what is gamma can anyone tell me what is gamma yes, sir gamma is equal to weight by volume what is weight gamma into volume so how to get uh, volume i can get area i can get area see if, if i want weight what i have to do now how to multiply with gamma into area into one so now you see choose an arbitrary failure plane bc1 calculate weight of the sliding wedge here you see uh, i am re clearly written here weight of the sliding wedge abc1 abc1 now you see uh, plot it as b1 to convenient scale on phi line now you see now i have weight i am getting an answer now you have to plot this on phi line now i will choose another color because i don't want to confuse you so this is a graphical method we need your patience so now you see i am going to plot b1 i am telling you once again b is very important b1 see someone can ask me sir how you drawn b1 b1 is equal to l1 this b1 is equal to l1 so how i draw which is equal to the which is equal to the weight of the sliding wedge abc1 now next draw a line now next draw one one dash draw one one dash so i am going to draw a line one one dash okay so now i am trying to draw a line one one dash parallel to side line so this is side line go parallel 
So now I got this. This is one one dash. Okay. Now this is one. This is one dash, which has to intersect this first uh, first value surface at one dash. So now you see. But uh, I will try to tell you once again. So now choose choose another point B two. Can anyone tell me what is B two? L two. So what is L two? L two is equal to L two is equal to. Can anyone tell me? Weight of sliding width A B C dash. You tell me now. What I have to write now? C suffix. What I have to write? Can anyone help me now? Now repeat the same procedure. Now we need to locate B two. B two is equal to L two. L two is equal to how much? Can anyone tell me now? Same way, tell me third point, fourth point. Because I will consider four, four, four failure plans. I am deserve to write up to four, not all. Let me adjust the paper. Otherwise, you feel discomfort. So now this is four. So I am supposed to write up to four only. Can anyone tell me what is B four? I am having just that. I am not going to do. Some graphical method is there. Some important thing is there. But after just put those things. B four is equal to L four. Can anyone tell me? Now in the same way, B three is equal to B one. So what I am trying to say, this is L two. Can anyone tell me what is this? Are you getting that? L three, L four. So can anyone tell me L one, L three? So how to get uh, L one? L one is equal to weight of the sliding wedge. A B C one. Now you please tell me these values. Still one minute is there. So please, uh, what I am requesting you students, uh, can tell me now how to locate this uh, L two. L two is equal to weight of this sliding wedge A B C suffix. You have to tell me. Please tell me now. It is your time. Now draw a line parallel to side line at two. Draw a line parallel to side line at three. Draw a line parallel to side line at four. Now you see you can join these points now. Get ready now. One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash. This is what you call this curve is called Kalman's curve. This curve is called Kalman's curve. Now, if you see uh, many times, you, you, what we have to observe now. So uh, this Kalman's curve gives you a reactive force. Okay. Uh, can anyone tell me now what is B two now? What is B two? Is it chapter number? Time is important. Now, what do you mean? You know, under the other one. Now, after joining these uh, points, one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, I am getting Kalman's curve. Kalman's curve. Now, can anyone tell me now? So, how how I got L two? L two is weight of sliding wedge A B C. Suffix ये उन लोगों ने अच्छा पाल। जब तक रहने, A B C suffix for B two, B three की, अलग है B four की। तो B one means the distance between these two points, B two, B three, B four. So now you please tell me. Are you there? Are you chapter two? I am able. So what is the answer now? Yes, we can see your answers. Gamma in the volume A B C four. Your answers chapter two. A B C two, A B C three, A B C four. Now uh, I am trying to conclude my lecture. So now draw a tangent parallel to phi line. This is T T. Draw a tangent parallel to phi line. Draw a tangent parallel to phi line. Now you see we can able to uh, we can able to trace active force. Draw a tangent parallel to phi line. So now you see uh, which intersect uh, this here. You see 
when you draw a line uh, parallel to phi line, uh, you can see this is tt. Now we generate the curve uh, at f dash. Now what we have to do now, uh, draw f dash f parallel to psi line. Now you see, we need to draw a line parallel to psi line, f dash f. So this f dash f is the, this f dash f is the active force. This